Engaging the minds of tomorrow's scientists, this was a key priority of the National Institute of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, as it hosted its 13th Caribbean Youth Science Forum in Trinidad. The forum, which was held from the 3rd to the 10th of August 2014, attracted almost 200 lower sixth form science students from six countries across the Caribbean region. A productive, enriching and safe CYSF. Participants of CYSF 2014 were provided with a one-of-a-kind educational platform as they prepare to pursue advanced studies and careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Students shared a memorable week of lectures, presentations and hands-on workshops by top local and international scientists and other professionals. Matters of the mind and the heart took centre stage at CYSF 2014. And our experience has been in these eight years that if you put these kids in the schools, and the schools don't have the traditional lectures, but are full of laboratories, full of places where they can play, but you know, of doing science, uh, these kids will get involved and will become really, really passionate about education and science. Brazilian feature speaker Dr. Miguel Nicolelis, one of the world's leading neuroscientists, wowed the audience with his presentation entitled Beyond Boundaries, The New Frontier of Brain Research and his revolutionary insights into how the brain creates thought and the human sense of self. Professor Nicolelis is one of the pioneering neuroscientists and the neuroprosthetic specialist whose work was critical to enabling a paralyzed Brazilian teenager to use a mind-controlled exoskeleton which was debuted at the kickoff of the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. Participants were able to better understand the engineering of the heart with a special guest lecture by Dr. Ravi Birla, Associate Professor at the University of Houston and the Director of the Artificial Heart Laboratory in the Department of Biomedical Engineering, Cullen College of Engineering. Initially I was a bit reserved about the about the process since we, we did not actually have labs but you know coming out today talking to the students engaging with the students I'm shocked that they're talking in terms of scientific terminology you know just they're talking about porosity they're talking about material properties they're talking about functionalized cells that's what we talk about in the lab so you know what started off as a crazy idea with my reservations has turned out to be phenomenal and above the students understanding the concepts, I had this great opportunity to interact with them. This year's problem-solving challenge produced some interesting results. The competition required participants in teams to design, build and demonstrate a device to preserve food for several days in a natural disaster scenario without the use of chemicals or being attached to a fixed-line external power source. The special food items chosen by Nihurst included milk, bread and a mystery item which turned out to be tomatoes. So we gave them complete creative freedom to do whatever they needed to do and we found a large variety of things coming in here. The whole concept of this challenge was not just for them to solve the problem as in, hey, they preserve these items. The whole thing, the main goal was for them to understand the process in going about solving a problem. So we gave them a real world problem. An inspirational evening of socializing with scientists gave participants a chance to interact with over 30 professionals from various scientific fields and also gain valuable insight into prospective careers. Amidst the intense lineup of activities, students enjoyed some well-deserved leisure and social activities, including a fun-filled karaoke night and an exciting Zumba session. Participants were able to see science in action with nine exciting field trips coordinated by NEHIS to science and technology institutions and companies throughout Trinidad. An aromatic experience was thoroughly enjoyed by students who visited the Angostura Holdings Limited. Participants got an insider view of the operations of the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago, a leader in the local, regional and international energy industry. 
All eyes were on the stars as participants enjoyed an interactive astronomy session hosted at the University of the West Indies. Others chose to enjoy a unique movie experience at the Digital IMAX in Port of Spain, the only one of its kind in the Caribbean region. An early start to a memorable Science Seekers outdoor event challenged participants physically, mentally and intellectually. This year's event took place in Chagramas, North Trinidad. Following a thrilling Science Seekers event, the stage was all set for a much-anticipated Caribbean cultural night. Participants showed off their talents, which featured dances, songs, poetry, theatre and even martial arts from around the region. The Forum Olympics brought participants together for a final day of fun and games before departing for their respective destinations. Whatever career path you want to go down, you can speak to someone who is an expert in that field. It's a definite experience that you cannot miss. You, right there, you need to understand something. If they tell you, do you want to sign up for CYSF, say yes. To any new CYSF members, please come and join. This is a heartfelt experience for anybody to join. In life even changing. So come and join and have fun. As the institution celebrates 30 years of advancing science and technology, the management and staff of Nihus remain committed to bringing science and technology to life for aspiring scientists throughout the Caribbean region. On behalf of Nehurst, I would like to offer my deepest and sincerest thanks to every single person who planned the CYSF. Without you, this would not have been a success. Thank you very much.